This is the Lamb Chops Gotadito with minty beans and artichokes. I historically have not loved lamb. I was working in the test kitchen at Bon Appetit and we shot a video where Carla Lolly Music, my coworker and good friend, had to convince me that lamb was delicious by creating a recipe that she thought I would love. She made me lamb chops that were marinated and rubbed in garlic and rosemary and anchovies, and I loved them. So this is an ode to that moment. It's a really quick and easy weeknight dinner, and it's packed with flavor. So this is a recipe for both lamb lovers and haters. First, we're gonna learn the technique for thick cuts of meat that starts on the stovetop and finishes in the oven. The second thing you will learn is how to upgrade a jar of marinated artichokes. And then the third, why you need to be turning your burners up. Step one, do some prep. We are making a super punchy, flavorful oil that is going to get slathered all over these lamb chops once they're seared. I think that this oil is the reason that I now love lamb chops, and that's because lamb chops are kind of intense, so you kind of have to meet them where they are. Rosemary and garlic are two very intensely flavorful ingredients that can kind of handle the gaminess of lamb because when you smear them all over them and roast them in the oven, it brings a little bit of balance to all that gaminess. So if you, like me, are not a lamb lover, this recipe is still for you. So I have a couple of tablespoons of finely chopped rosemary going into a bowl. I'm going to grate four garlic cloves right in. But pretty much you put garlic and rosemary on anything, I'm gonna love it. And now I'm just covering them with olive oil and I'm stirring this together. And this we will set aside by the stove because we'll brush it all over the lamb after it's seared. Finely chopped capers and these are gonna get stirred in later on and they're gonna bring little like crispy, briny, crunchy, salty moments to a pan full of artichokes and butter beans. Yum. So then the last bit of prep here is taking these two racks of lamb and just breaking them down. And it's not scary, you don't have to be a butcher. And I'm going to cut down right in between the fourth and the fifth rib, just to turn these into more manageable size racks. And that way we can scoot them around in the pan more easily. And we're gonna season them all over with lots of salt and pepper. By the way, the proper way to season a piece of meat is by holding your hand this high up above it and letting the salt trickle down out of your fingers and it will give you this really even layer of seasoning as opposed to, and I've seen this a million times, seasoning like this. No, look at that. There's a clump of salt here. There's no salt here. You gotta go high and wide and wag. And then pep. All right, step two, sear and roast. We want to establish a really nice golden brown crust all over these lamb chops. And if it's not hot enough, we're not gonna get that delicious caramelized crust and that crispy golden fat all over. So when you're cooking meat and you're looking for a really good sear and crust, you gotta turn your burners up. It will yield a really beautiful piece of meat. So the first thing we're gonna do is sear these all over. All right, so do you guys see the smoke? That indicates that our oil is really hot. So now we're gonna start to sear them. So I'm putting them fat side down. Still over high heat, people. Don't get it twisted. So now that the fat sides are crispy, I'm turning these guys on their sides so that we can caramelize this bit of meat as well. And then we're gonna finish them in the oven. But for now, we're gonna turn off the heat and just like scoot them all to the side of the pan. And here comes the artichokes. You guys have had a jarred artichoke before. They're kind of sad. Really easy thing you can do to upgrade this jarred artichoke is to crisp it up in a skillet in some fat. And it's so hot in there that they're gonna get crispy and brown and it's going to develop an entire another layer of flavor that they never had in the first place and turn them from something pretty mediocre to something pretty stupendous. You'll see. So now we will rearrange our lamb chops fat sides up in the skillet. Just make sure all their bones are inside. And then we're taking that delicious, powerful garlic rosemary oil and we're slathering it all over the outsides of these ribs. 
and it's all just gonna marry together in the oven while they roast. So it was seared all over and it is still very, very rare inside. We're gonna finish cooking it in the oven. All of their fat and the juices that they're cooking in are going to soak into everything that's underneath. They're not going to burn because we're giving them all around heat to cook through as opposed to keeping them stovetop and having to cook them for so long that the outsides burn. And so this is particularly great for a thick piece of meat. Think about like a fat ribeye and how long it would take stovetop and it's also very hands-off. So here we go. Let's take a look. And we're hoping for 130, we're at 128. So I'm gonna pull these. I'd rather be on the rare side than the overcooked side. I'm gonna transfer these over to a tray and we're gonna let them rest over here. Let's look at these artichokes. We've got crispy seared artichokes that have been sizzling in garlic and rosemary oil. I'm gonna give them another minute or two over medium high heat here just to make sure they're all really nice and seared. And then we're gonna finish our bean mixture in this skillet. Woo! Something that looks like this. It's a lot better than it did when it came out of the jar, would you agree? At this point, I'm adding oil-packed anchovies. The lamb can take it, I promise. And then I'm also adding those chopped capers. We're gonna fry the capers in the fat, disintegrate those anchovies, and we're just make a delicious artichoke caper pan sauce here. Okay, oh my God, would you look at that gorgy? All right, and now we're adding the beans. They do need to kind of like sit in all of these yummy juices for a second, so we're stirring them in. We're off the heat, no more high heat here. I'm gonna season them with salt, and then I'm going to basically just let them marinate in a bunch of red wine vinegars and a bunch more olive oil. We're gonna let them chill in the skillet for a couple of minutes in this vinegary, olive oily caper mixture. Step three, serve. So here's our skillet of marinated beans and crispy chokes and anchovies and capers, and I'm just gonna dump a bunch of chopped mint right into there. Obviously there's a lot of like roasty, toasty, oven, char, sear, caramelization flavor going on here. So the mint is really nice, kind of counterbalance that. And then all we gotta do is take our well-rested lamb chops and just cut in between every single bone and separate these into little individual like lollipops. It looks very nicely cooked. It's a nice little mid-rare moment. We'll do beans and chokes on the platter. And you wanna make sure you get all of that good jus as well, because that's all that marinade and the flavor and the pan drippings and everything. And then we're gonna just start piling on our chops. And then a couple more beans. So that was easy. We went stovetop into the oven, sear the outside and then let it really gently cook through to achieve that beautiful mid-rare. We took a can of jarred artichokes and kicked it up a notch by searing it and roasting it under a bed of lamb. And most importantly, and if there's anything that you take away from this video and into the rest of your practices in the kitchen, you should not be afraid of turning your burners up to high. I'll have this little endy bit and I will prove to you that I do love lamb. Thanks for this recipe. I'm still eating. Mmm. It's a lamb chop scotadito.